Welcome back. It's time to announce the latest winner of the Alamo Draft House Date Night. Drum roll, please, everyone. The winner is Bronson Cox. Bronson Cox, congratulations. Bronson, you're going to be heading to Alamo Draft House. You're going to see Jen John Meyer. You're going to see Curtis uh, Killingsworth. Yes. Yes, and you're just going to have a great time. And see all the good movies see you have. See whatever movie you want. Yeah. And Jen John Meyer, good to see you. Great to be back. We've missed you. We saw Curtis last week. Yes, yes, you did. I don't think I've ever been here for a drum roll. <gasps> oh, well, yeah. that's a first. I know. It will I go know. down. I like history. Oh, he always does I love it so it. well. Am I gonna, am I gonna be good enough? You know, you yeah. start to ask yourself, and then you start to anyway. You question yourself yeah, sometimes. Yeah, and then I'm like. Oh, can I start with the obvious question? Because yes. I was scrolling through the social media, as one does. As one does. As one and does. I happened to see an Alamo Draft House post about being closed for renovations. We're closed for renovations, but um, just until through tomorrow. So we'll be open back up Thursday. And we're okay. doing kind of a rolling series of renovations where we're going to be brightening and, and making the place just look better and look a little different in some aspects mm -hmm. as we keep going. And But right now, we got some cool new kitchen equipment to make our food even better. So oh, I'm very is that even possible? That. I know, I know. I know, we have it in our St. Louis Alamo and now we're going to have it here. And so I'm very, very excited, I'm very you, excited. Yeah. What all does that entail? Like new stoves? Anything? Well, it's new call, I mean, it's fridge? called a Henny Penny. Have you ever heard of a Henny Penny? Uh-uh. Uh, isn't that a child book, children's book, uh -huh. Henny Penny? Yes, the sky's falling? it is. Well, that's, I think that's Chicken Little. Oh, that's Chicken Little, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Um, Sorry. You know, it's um, listen now. I'm not going to pretend that I know anything beyond an air fryer, mm -hmm. but it is. It seems to be something that makes food crispier and uh -huh. just enhances the flavor more. Okay, I'm in. I love yeah. it. I'm in for that. Yeah. And will that you're doing that during the renovations currently? So will yes. that start yes. being put into effect Thursday, or yep. is it going to need a little time? Yep. It will um. be. It will be. It's okay. Coming. It's coming. It's exciting. I'm excited. That's awesome. Okay. So, does that mean then? Um, the back lot is closed during this renovation time? Yeah, everything's or? closed. Everything yeah. is closed. Yeah. Okay, And then gotcha. the next step is we're um, having all of our seats redone. So we're just, oh. yeah. yeah. I love your seats the way they are. I so know. I can't even imagine. We are getting, you know, they're just going to be a little more comfortable and a little, you know, recovered. and everything. Wow, yeah. good for you. Yeah. That's I awesome. Know. So once these, it, there's a series of rolling, uh, rolling renovations, as you will, throughout, uh, what is this Dismember the Alamo event? Oh, that is just my favorite event of the year, okay. is what it is. And so it is every October. We do it the last Saturday of October, so it'll be October 28th. It is a, oh, look at that Oh, graphic. gosh, that is a <laughs> so graphic. horrifying and amazing. Okay, so you buy a ticket, but you're not sure what you're buying a ticket for, right? It's a mystery horror marathon. And think like, you know, like off the beaten path horror, like, you know, just old stuff that maybe didn't get a full run or that you've never heard of or, uh -huh. you know, That's just, fine. but we theme it, you know, we try to come up with a theme every year. And so every movie will have something to do with that theme. And, and is the this theme year dismembering? Is, this, this year the theme is curses. Oh, curses. 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 So you can anticipate that all the movies will have something to do with curses being cursed or something okay. curse related. So one of my favorite. Cursing in the movie. No. Oh. Okay, we're not on that. <laughs> okay. Broad. I say Practical Magic is a good oh, holiday. It's I not scary. We are but showing that in October. We're going to have a Practical Magic movie party. Oh, it's, my gosh. Yeah, Stop October it. October is my favorite month for movies. Um, I'm not even that much of a horror person, but we have so many cool things going on. We have our Rocky Horror Shadow cast that we do, and we have we always do Practical Magic. And then we do just a ton of, like, every type of horror for every type of horror lover. And then we have just, you know, just good food and and our regular first run movies too for the people who don't like horror. Mm -hmm. And then we decorate yeah. everything. We're doing a totally new decorating theme this year in our hallways, so I'm excited about that. Do you do Rocky Horror every October? I know you recently yeah. have done it. Do you do that in October? Yeah, okay. we, we threw an extra one up in June. Right, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. We do it as often as they let us because we just have a lot of fun with it. And yeah. people love and to dress our shadow up. cast is amazing. Well, and I was gonna say, speaking of dressing up, I saw Curtis Killingsworth as Wonka. Yeah. Oh a very, gosh. very tall I Wonka. I wish he could have been here to talk about it. He was amazing. Um, we had a uh, Paris Themen and uh, Julie Don Cole, who were Mike TV, the original Mike TV, and Veruca Salt in the in the Gene Wilder, or as I call it, the real Wonka, yeah, the me original, too. the yeah. amazing Wonka. Mm -hmm. I love them. I mean, I love them both. But 
Um, and Curtis just hosted like a the champ that he is, and he was really good, and oh. he looked so cool. He did that. Yeah. I was just like taken aback by how long and beautiful that purple coat was. I'm I like, know. he has a tall drink of water. So he is. where did they find oh that? Oh my gosh, she's <laughs> going to watch this again and again. Yeah. I promise you. He's gonna rewind it. Tall yeah. drink of water. Rewind it. Maddie called you a tall drink of water, Curtis. She did. And yeah. if, you know, yeah, just saying. I just saying. <laughs> he is tall. <laughs> uh, that is so exciting. There's always something going on and with the back lot and all the movies. And there's now I know the strike is going on, but it hasn't affected any movies and the releases for you guys. I know there's been a couple pushbacks to next year, there's but a couple there's push still back. movies coming yes, out. Yes, yes. We'll still have like the Marvels is still coming out. Um, that hasn't changed. I'm very excited about the Marvels. Uh, I loved Captain Marvel. Um, and I'm that's just that's just like a female empowered cast and I just am here for it. But um, yeah, there's only been a couple, and we have so many cool other things happening. Um, we have Talk Like a Pirate Night that will be in the back lot on the 19th of Love September. That. And because that's Talk Like a Pirate Day. I don't know if you, oh, I'm sure okay. you knew. I'm sure well, you knew. Like, as everyone note knows. To self. Note to self. Um, note to self. September 19th. Batman Day is uh, September 16th, I think. So we're doing some Batman movies that weekend. Oh. This weekend. Yeah, that's this weekend. That's we oh, wow. my gosh. <laughs> I know. It's flying by. I swear we've said we were it. just talking about Memorial Day. Yeah. But anyway. This month is already just, flying. So, a lot of things happening. Yeah, and if people want for more information, they can just oh, go. Oh, they can totally go to drafthouse.com. You can find us on social, Alamo Springmo, our handles, and, mm -hmm. and we got to We got to wrap it up, I think. Uh, yeah, we do. Our, but I was yeah. curious, what if she stays and plays our greeting card game with us? You want to play a greeting card game? Yeah. It's I'd really love, good. I'd Producer love Jake love is brilliant. At All this. right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We are going to be playing our, reading, our greeting card game. We're going to be testing the knowledge. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> it's super fun. So you have to guess, is it a real greeting card?